Dems sue Russia. Wells Fargo find an Apple iPhone sales slip. Hi, I'm Rob Onspock from Onspock Media, and welcome to Season 2, Episode 80 of What's Trending. If you're just tuning in, what I do is I take some of the trending subjects. subjects. Yeah, I, oh, there's always one word I mess up, no matter what the episode is. Always one word. You know, and I've, I've said this line like, you know, 200 times and it still messes up. So what I do is I take some of the trending subjects found on Facebook and give you my spin, my take, my thoughts, my opinion. Well, we got three of them today. And, you know, I usually don't talk politics because it's a sore thorn in people's side. But I find this ironic. And it says Democratic Party sues Russia. How do you sue a country? They're also suing WikiLeaks and the Trump campaign over election disruption. Look, I don't care about who won or who lost. That's up to you. I mean, you have your personal sides. That's fine. But let's just end it, okay? He's the president. Move on says the party alleges in the federal lawsuit that Trump campaign officials conspired with Russia to hurt Democratic nominee Hillary Clinton. She hurt herself. She has so much against her. You know what? I could talk about it all night long, but it doesn't help the situation. All this does is cause disruption within our own political system and helps destroy the internals of our own parties. So you want to bring your parties back into strength and numbers? Stop with all this nonsense because it's not helping. In fact, now it's tearing apart countries because now this party, the Democratic Party, is suing Russia. What good is that going to do? It's not going to do a damn thing. Just my opinion. Well, <clears throat> If you bank at Well Fargo, Wells Fargo, should be Well Fargo, they are paying $1 billion to federal regulators because, well, because they're jerks. Yeah, I said it. It's Friday. I can be this way. It's my show. The fines against the bank settle investigations into its lending practices. They are the biggest bank penalties imposed under the Trump administration. You know, and, and let's not even talk about the administration. Let's talk about what the bank did. Okay? And it's their lending practices. They're no good. They were doing, they were lending money to people that couldn't afford to pay it back. Or they were doing shitty lending, which meant that you know, the percentage of borrowing this money was too high. And they knew it. They knew these people that couldn't afford the mortgages or the loans or the, the cars or whatnot, credit cards, you name it. And, and sometimes they even cooked their own books and said, we lent money to these people and they were non-existent. So... I think that the government needs to step in and regulate some of these banks a little bit better. Just, again, my opinion. What do you think? I mean, you got to have an opinion too. So comment below. Anyway, you know, I'm, I, if you've watched this show before, you know that I'm a big fan of Apple, but I'm also not very up on the new iPhone. 10, iPhone X, whatever they want to call it. I think the notch on the top looks stupid. I think paying a thousand dollars for a phone is dumb. You know, but it says, and I think that that's the fear that everybody has. This is Apple shares or Apple sinks on fears of sh slowing iPhone sales. Shares of Apple fell more than 3% Friday and are down for the whole week. Worries of soft demand for phones or iPhones, particularly the iPhone 10 X, whatever you want to call it. Hit chip stocks hard too. 
But Amazon, Netflix, and other big companies, their stocks are up. So I think that, you know, and every, every company, I think, needs to have one slap in the head when it comes to their products, their services, so they know that they have to improve the next time. Apple for a long, long time was riding high on on the ideas of Steve Jobs or Steve's Steve Jobs. But I'm not messing up tonight. Um, and the vision that Steve had. But lately, all the iPhones are just improvements over the next one. The next iPhone, whether it be 11, 12 whatever they want to call it has to be a vast improvement to the point where people will say, wow, you know, this technology is so awesome. I will give you a thousand dollars and my right arm, but the iPhone X just didn't do it. Nope. It just, to me, it wasn't the, everybody was clamoring over the eight because it was cheaper and it did almost the same thing. So, you know, and you know, this is this is what I do. Not these trends. I do these two every day, but you know, when my clients are looking to enhance their marketing, we look at what they're doing, what they've done in the past, what they could do better, and we go through step by step their digital footprint, their online media, their offline media. And we look at ways to improve, to build trust, to, you know, give them, you know, more credibility in the workplace. And if they do screw up and they have a product that just isn't selling, we try to figure out why. And we fix it and we bring it back and we make them stronger. If you want to learn a little bit more, visit me at onspotmedia.com. While you're there, take a look at the many blogs, I mean, there's over 300 articles that will educate you, entertain you, and engage you in our thinking process. You can also, while you're there, click on the eHeroes um, logo, and it's an interview series that I do with other entrepreneurs that will give you insights on how to be a better entrepreneur. Again, onspotmedia.com. Have a wonderful weekend, and I will see you on Monday. Have a great one.